Let's continue with the antioxidants. We talked about vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, uh, alpha lipoic acid. Uh, now we'll uh, talk about uh, polyphenols. Polyphenols from the name. What is polyphenols? Means it contains more than one hydroxyl group. We can get this either from green tea or from grape seed. Green tea, uh, the polyphenol compound that are very effective as antioxidant and anti-inflammatory are the catechins or the epicatechins. And the most powerful member of this group is the epigallocatechin 3 gallin. It is found in green tea, also it is found in black tea. Now, the one that is found in red grapes, and it is really powerful polyphenol and powerful antioxidant, is procyanidine. There's a study done uh, to see the effect of uh, antioxidant activity of the polyphenols and the uh, vitamin C and vitamin E, and it was found that polyphenol have higher antioxidant activity compared to vitamin C and vitamin E. Uh, they have an effect on inhibiting the lipid peroxidation, which is one of the important factors that we said when the cell membrane is leaky, so this will cause death uh, of the cell. Uh, if we inhibit this peroxidation in the lipid membrane, this will prevent uh, the death of the cell. This is the structures of the catechin derivative. As you can see, uh, we said it's a polyphenol, so it has many hydroxyl groups. This is the catechin, the epicatechin, and the epigallocatechin. Uh, and the most powerful one is the epigallocatechin gallate. As you can see, it has more hydroxyl group than the catechins. Uh, as you can see also, the epigallocatechin gallate, it is important in uh, reducing the reactive oxygen species. So it is uh, effective as antioxidant. Uh, plus, as you can see here, it also, which is important for us, it also inhibits uh, the matrix metalloproteinase. So I want you to remember also, that the epigallocatechin gallate, one of their uh, effect is inhibiting the matrix metalloproteinase, so it inhibits the degradation of uh, collagen. Of course, if you remember the uh, graph that we said if, uh, about the uh, free radicals, if we inhibit the ROS, then we'll inhibit uh, also the activation of the AP1, and uh, in, uh, in turn, this will inhibit the uh, matrix metalloproteinase. This is the structure of the procyanidine. We said that procyanidine that is found in red grapes is more powerful than the epigallocatechin. As you can see, it has uh, many uh, uh, or multiple of these the coumarin derivatives and the gallic acid, uh, and uh, it has many phenols, phenol group. That, the, therefore, it is more powerful than the epigallocatechin. Gallate. Uh, this is the structure of procyanidine. Now, the uh, other compound that is important in uh, uh, skin uh, therapy is selenium. Selenium, mainly selenium, we uh, use it topically or orally, uh, sorry, orally, not topically, uh, it, because it plays a role in the functioning of the thyroid gland. Uh, and also it is a powerful antioxidant plus it has an anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic activity. As you can see, most of the natural products, they have anti-inflammatory property. Inflammation would increase the uh, reactive oxygen species. So the, any compound that has anti-inflammatory property, this will reduce the activation of the uh, reactive oxygen species and of course reduce the consequences of these uh, activation. It, since it is antioxidants most of the time uh, antioxidants considered also anti-carcinogenic but this is not our uh, 
uh, aim in this uh, uh, topic we are talking about skin so what is the function of selenium in an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory plus it has a protective effect uh, as antioxidants how uh, because it is an essential it has a role or it is a cofactor in the formation of glutathione peroxidase and thyroidoxine peroxidase okay then we have to remember that uh, selenium is uh, uh, important or it has a, an essential role as a cofactor in the formation of uh, important protective enzyme glutathione peroxidase and the thyroidoxine uh, reductase uh, these both are important in uh, lipid uh, hydroperoxidation so it will reduce uh, the lipid hyperperoxidation and of course it will reduce the hydrogen peroxide uh, to, uh, to water uh, since they have anti-inflammatory activity so it is important in inhibiting uh, the damaging of the UV light and as we said inflammation will increase the cytokines and cytokines uh, will uh, uh, activate uh, the activator protein and then it will increase the damage of your skin Typically uh, selenium cannot be given as a selenium because it's not penetrable cannot penetrate the skin So it should be used على شكل selenomethionine as you can see هذا المثيونين هذا طبعا يعتبر carrier this is a carrier for selenium Selenium alone is not absorbed, but if it is uh, found as a selenium or selenomethionine, uh, this will enhance the absorption of the selenium and uh, the selenium will produce its effect. Sometimes we can see uh, selenium sulfide in anti-dandruff shampoo, selenium sulfide as uh, in anti-dandruff shampoo because it kills the fungus selenium sulfide uh, found in anti dandruff shampoo sulfide okay now this is uh, the last antioxidant i want you to know about in uh, topical preparation and these are the most commonly used in uh, cosmetic preparation uh, the carotenoids are uh, also used but uh, uh, it is limited because uh, they cause uh, 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 color uh, or, or discoloration of the formula uh, because they are pigment uh, but uh, if we use a new technology that will uh, cause bleach for the product then it will be colorless uh, but the disadvantage of these compounds in home uh, they uh, give a color to their product and this of course is not uh, uh, acceptable because uh, the coloring agents may mask if there is any uh, degradation for the active ingredients let's uh, let's see what are the if, uh, what are the most important uh, uh, carotenoids that uh, will have a uh, powerful antioxidant effect in lycopene lutein and the beta carotene all of these can be found in uh, leafy greens, uh, green vegetables, in carrots, and in tomato. Tomato is rich with lycopene. Uh, they are really powerful uh, uh, antioxidants and they inhibit uh, the lipid peroxidation as well. Uh, most of the study done on uh, uh, carotenoids uh, 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 used for uh, or study done for their oral. Uh, effect not for the typical topical effect as we said but some of these carotenoids have photoprotection effect you remember vitamin C and vitamin A have also photoprotection effect the SPF of these compounds is uh, they are found in the formula uh, around uh, uh, 3 uh, SPF stands for Sun protection factor so they have a little uh, photoprotecting effect uh, the best of these uh, uh, carotenoids is lycopene uh, is a lycopene found to be uh, or to have the strongest photoprotection effect than lutein than 
beta carotene as a photo protection. All of them are antioxidants, but the one that have a, a sun uh, protecting effect is uh, lycopene. This is uh, just a, a few examples. It's not found in your uh, lecture notes, but I want you to remember these uh, examples. Uh, this uh, you can take them as a supplements, oral supplements for dysfunction or fatigue mitochondria. You remember we said the first sign of aging is mitochondrial burnout. So you have to take care of your mitochondria uh, from the uh, uh, pollution, from the stress, from the uh, pre, uh, pre radicals that is formed. So uh, what we should uh, take in order to protect uh, this uh, uh, mitochondrial function, uh, try to take coenzyme Q10, the ubiquinone, L-carnitine, uh, D-ribose, magnesium is really effective also, uh, vitamin B3 which is niacinamide and uh, vitamin B2 which is riboflavin. Uh, these are examples of supplements that are really effective for fatigued mitochondria so uh, we finished now with uh, the antioxidants now we'll talk about the uh, uh, vitamin d that is found in uh, cosmetic preparation the first one is dextropanthenol dextropanthenol dextro is the active form not the levopanthenol so if you have in the formula panthenol you have to ask the formulator which uh, isoform you are using the dextro or the levo the uh, biologically active form is the dextropanthenol. It is a pro-vitamin B5. When we say pro-vitamin, means it is will uh, this uh, substance will be converted within your body to vitamin B5. Okay, pro-vitamin with dextropanthenol uh, it will be converted in your body because it is a pro-vitamin into vitamin B5, which is pantothenic acid. The concentration that will give the effect uh, is uh, between, topically for uh, skin aging, between 2 and 5%. This is for skin preparation. We can use these, uh, uh, this vitamin B5 or the dextropanthenol, also used in nail preparation and especially used in hair products. But the concentration in hair products range from 0.1 to 1%. What's the effect of uh, dextropanthenol in hair preparation? It makes a coat in the hair shaft that will uh, uh, cause a shiny effect on the hair. And it protects the hair from uh, shampoo or from detergents. And uh, the effects of the panthenol in the skin, it enhances the moisturizing uh, property of your skin. But if, we, uh, if you want to get the benefit of this uh, panthenol, it should be in the concentration between 2 and uh, and 5 persons. If it is more than 5 persons, then we'll, we will classify this uh, dextropanthenol as drug, not cosmetic. So if it uh, should be cosmetic, it, the concentration should be less than 5 persons. One of the effects of uh, pantothenic acid, it enhances the wound healing. That's why we use it as anti-aging creams or anti-aging product because it enhances the healing of your uh, wound. For, so it will uh, cause or uh, uh, increase the cell proliferation and increase the protein synthesis of your skin. Plus, uh, another effect of dextropanthenol besides wound healing and cell pro proliferation and the synthesis of collagen and elastin, it is a penetration enhancer. It penetrates the skin quickly and also it enhances the penetration of other active ingredients. Plus, it has anti-inflammatory activity, so it reduces inflammation and reduces itching. So again, uh, the effect of dextropanthenol, أول إشي راح نحكي إنه هو يستخدم uh, as moisturizing agents, بعمل moisturizing, moisturizing for the skin. If we are talking about skin products, ثاني إشي بزيد the proliferation of your of the cell, 
and increase the synthesis of protein. Plus, it is a penetration enhancer and it has anti-inflammatory activity. For the hair, it causes a, a coat uh, on, the, on your hair shaft and this will protect the hair shaft from external uh, environment and uh, make the hair shine. The concentration as a cream from 2 to 5 percent and in a hair product from 0.1 in a 2 percent. The second vitamin that uh, you can see in uh, skin preparation, in anti-aging preparation, uh, nicotinamide or niacinamide. The concentration that is acceptable and give an effect between 4 and 5 percent. Uh, nicotinamide is vitamin B3. Uh, the, the effect of, vi uh, of this uh, niacinamide, it acts as anti-inflammatory. This is the first effect of uh, nicotinamide. The second effect, it has a whitening effect, so it is used in uh, skin pigmentation. Uh, plus, it is important in skin or, or in anti-aging preparation because it has a role in the biosynthesis of ceramid. What is the importance of ceramid? Ceramid is a family of waxy lipid molecule that is composed of sphingosine, which is 18 carbon fatty alcohol, and fatty acid. So what's the function of ceramid? Ceramid participate in cellular signaling and regulate differentiation and proliferation of the keratinocytes. And it is involved also in apoptosis, which is the programmed uh, uh, cellular death. Of course, because it is a waxy lipid, it also forms part of the stratum corneum lipid. Therefore, it is important in moisturizing our skin. Again, the function of uh, nicotinamide, it acts as anti-inflammatory. That's why we can use them, uh, use nicotinamide in acne preparation. Some acne products contain nicotinamide because it has anti-inflammatory property. And it acts as whitening agent because it prevents the transfer of melanosome. When we talk about depigmenting agents, we will see the exact mechanism of nicotinamide in uh, whitening agents or in depigmenting agents. As anti-aging ingredients, uh, it is used uh, because it is involved in the biosynthesis of ceramid. So uh, ceramid, uh, the importance of ceramid uh, considered as a signaling molecule for uh, cell differentiation and prolifer proliferation and apoptosis.